on page 41. A 
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brethren, for freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Look, I, Paul, say to you that if you accept circumcision, Christ will be of no advantage to you. I testify again to every man who accepts circumcision that he is obligated to keep the whole law. You are severe from Christ. You who would be justified by the law. You have fallen away from grace. For through the Spirit by faith, we ourselves eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith walking through love. The word of the Lord. Thanks Our response to the psalm shall be, Lord, let your grace come upon me. Let's repeat. Lord, let your grace come upon me. Lord, let your mercy come upon me. The salvation you have promised. Response. Lord, let your grace come upon me. Never take the word of truth from my mouth, for I hope in your decrees. Response Lord, let your voice come upon me. I shall always keep your love forever and ever. Response Lord, let your voice come upon me. I shall walk on a spacious plain, for I seek your presence. Response Lord, let your blessings come upon me. In your commands I have found my delight. These I have loved. Response Lord, let your blessings come upon me. I reach out to your commands which I love and ponder your statutes. Response Lord, let your blessings come upon me. Who is there? The gospel. Praise 
my dear brothers and sisters, experience is the teacher of life. We experience so many things at family level, at neighborhood level, at the place of the world. And such experiences help us to grow, makes us more mature. So experience is the teacher for us. Now, let us try to understand the word of God in the, in the first reading. We have seen there that there was a problem. The Jews were insisting on circumcision for the Gentiles. That was something that religious tradition practice that everyone should have to undergo. And the Gentiles who were not following this practice, they were forced out. Even Peter insisted, and that's why there was a conflict between Peter and Paul. These are Gentiles, new converts. Don't force on them the practices, as St. Paul says at the end, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything. It has no bearing. But what is important is faith and faith working through love. Similarly, you see in the gospel today, in a Pharisee, and Jesus was kind enough to oblige him, invited him for dinner. And there are practices to wash hands to wash cups, to wash plates before dinner. He did not observe because Jesus knows what is very essential, very important for a good way of living. He was a scandalized the Pharisees. And uh, Jesus put him into very uh, the strong situation creates a, a situation that will teach him a good lesson. Jesus says, What makes a person unclean? First, he says, Clean your interior. All that works in your mind, all that you desire in your heart, that must be pure. Even the religious has said very clear, from inside what comes and uh, revenge, we harm to others, to cheat others. These are wicked things. That makes a person unclean. You think and you desire such uh, actions. And in the opening prayer, I have said, we pray for the grace to carry out good works, good actions. So it is not that these practices will make us clean, but what will make us clean is our good intentions, our good ways of dealing with others, respecting human dignity, respecting the rights of peoples and not uh, dominating others, not bossing over others, not uh, uh, making any discrimination, which is very, very prevalent in our society. Are we ready to cleanse ourselves from within? This is the question that Jesus poses to us. This is a challenge. And I think he 
we need to ponder over it and we need God's strength. We need the power of the Holy Spirit because only when the light of the power of the Holy Spirit flows on us, we can understand where we stand. And soon uh, at the time of acclamation, he has said, the word of God is living and active. It discerns the thoughts and intentions of the heart. The word of God, when you listen, is applicable to our lives. In the letter of, uh, to the Hebrews, it is said, the word of God is like a double-edged sword. It pierces. It's very much telling us, where do we stay? If we listen to the word of God with the faith, then only our lives will be uh, our, our eyes will be enlightened, our vision, our mind will be enlightened to understand and to transform our lives. So this is very important. My dear brothers and sisters, may God give us this grace to live a life that pleases God. B nine on page sixty nine.
graciously grant peace in our day. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live to reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Number four. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are you who are born to His Supper. Since we cannot receive Jesus at this moment sacramentally, let us make an act of spiritual communion and experience the presence of Jesus who is in us, who dwells in our hearts, who abides in us. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And where there is 
Let us pray. <clears throat> we have entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you make us sharers of his divine nature who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hymn number P35 on page 339. Thank you.